Good morning, everybody. Uh, just a quick uh, Facebook Live because, morning, Catherine, because I wanted just to show some of the Making It Monday projects from the last 12 months. And, and I'm not very well prepared. I've got quite a few with me, but quite a few that I haven't got. So um, we'll kind of work through them. Now, I've got the list up on my screen here, so I'm going to try and give you the names of them as well. Uh, morning, Linda. Morning, um Whisper Labrador. I never know your proper name. I think it's Teresa, isn't it? So I'm going to work through them as best I can. I'm going to put you on the side view. So I'm, I'm a bit sort of... That's better. Um, I'm going to put you on the side view so we can look at these a little bit better. So just bear with while I do that. Uh, hold on. <clears throat> right, OK. So here we go. So the first one we ever did was the heart pot holder um, and that is called, it's MIM number one, it's called a part heart pot holder. Um, so that's, all of these are still on the website and they're all a pound each. The second one we did was the um, scissor keeper, which I'm just going to find for you now. I've got a great big pile of things here that I'm hoping that I can get to pretty quickly. So bear with while I find it. You know, when you had things a minute ago and now, of course, have disappeared. Here we go. The Scissor Keeper. Not um, original idea, but it was originally made by for us by Karen. So I was always very grateful to Karen for doing that for us, Karen Honey. Um, and that's the Scissor Holder. And that's MIM number two. So that's still available for you. Then we've got the card purse. Now that's one of my favourites actually, only because we did crumb quilting with it, which of course, if any of you know me, you know how I really enjoy crumb quilting, which I'm just trying to find for you. I told you I wasn't that organised. Um, let's see. Oh, here it is. <laughs> So the card purse is this one here. Like I say, it's all crumb quilting. So that's that's called, that's MIM3 and that's the card purse. And that's literally done with scraps of fabric. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of my favourite makes because it, we used up scraps of, of fabric and that was um, Liberty. So um, morning, Sharon. I suspect it's quite late in the evening there for you, Sharon. Yeah. So um, that's MIM number three, that's the card purse. Now I don't have the car, a car tidy, which is MIM four. I've seen it in my room, but I couldn't find it today. Right, number five is the glasses case. And I'll just find that for you. Uh, it's it's similar to the one in the picture, but not quite the same. So it's the glasses case, which is this one. I think this was my, my sample I made. Um, the one in the picture is all sort of blues and it's like a Japanese fabric. So that's the glasses case and that is MIM number five. Uh, MIM number six is the teeny tiny bag, which again, I keep saying is one of my favourites. I mean, they all are. They've got to be, haven't they? Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Um, and that is a super little make. I'll see if I can find it. Here it is. Um, and that this is the teeny tiny bag. In actual fact, it's not so teeny tiny because it actually opens up quite a lot. You can see it's quite deep quite wide look you can see and this was made near a Christmas time to hang things on your Christmas tree like Christmas chocolates Christmas coins all that sort of thing and um, yeah so lots of people made that the next and that is MIM number six the teeny tiny bag the next one is the gift card card holder which definitely was made near Christmas time and that's MIM number seven so let me just move my screen so I can go up a little bit. There we go. So that's MIM number seven. That's the card holder. Um, I have a bell on there, but you can use a loop and regular fabric. Um, and that holds gift cards. And it might hold a little chocolate coin in there as well. So you've got two spaces, two gift cards, and a little pocket right on the end there. Um, I didn't use stabiliser on mine, but I suggest you do just to make it a little bit more sturdy. Morning, Nicola. Morning, Liana. Good morning. Morning Jules, morning Marie, um, <clears throat> morning Jeanette, um, morning Tina. So that is um, MIM number seven, which is the gift card holder. <coughs> then we've got the mini caddy. Now this was really, really useful. Let's just turn my phone off. 
Um, this is a really, really useful make, and actually it's quite an interesting make. Yeah, the way you put it together is actually quite interesting and, and a good one to remember for making a, perhaps a bigger one. Um, and yeah, well, you can see I haven't stitched returning yet. That's the way I rock and roll. Um, so the the that is MIM number eight, and that's the mini caddy. Now the next two were made, morning Elaine, next two were made um, because we are right in the thick of the pandemic by now. And we've got MIM number nine, which is the trolley or cart cover. Um, and that has Velcro on it. I know some people were concerned about the Velcro, but um, that's how I made it. So that's number nine. And number 10, which is the sanitizer bottle holder which hangs on the end of it so those are two mims two separate ones uh, morning mandy um, number 10 is the hand sanitizer number nine is the trolley cover and actual fact this could be a cover for your pram as well you know anything or even your walking frame I, i'm sure my dad could really use with this now um, just to hang something from it doesn't have to be a sanitizer it could be uh, it could be an umbrella it could be a bag it could be a bottle carrier it could be all sorts that you want to hang from it so that is number nine and number ten the next one is Polly Pocket, um, a great, another great design. Let's see if I can quickly find it. Um, and one that you're going to really make quite quickly. Let me just find it for you. I've got, I haven't got that many here, but you'd think I had had tons. So this is Polly Pocket, um, and it's different to the picture on the one, the picture shows one with is pink and flowery material and this is mim number 11 poly pocket but actually i gave that one away as a prize for something so this one has a zip going all the way down um nicely lined inside and it has um a tab here so you can hang it onto something you've also got a tab here that you can pull the zip down by so it's got quite a lot of features for a little tiny purse and that is um, 5 a.m. in Florida, Tina. Can't you sleep? <laughs> so that is MIM number 11, and that is the Polly Pocket. Now, the next one is the Slim Pouch, and that has been a really, really popular make. If, again, if I can find it. You know, when you look at your heap and you think, it's got to be here somewhere. Here it is. And <laughs> so the Slim Pouch here, slightly different fabric to the one in the picture. Um, so this is number 12, the slim pouch, quite like this because this is great for school, for pencils and things like that, great for travel, all of those sort of things. Of course you can add a um, sort of tab to this as well if you want to. You could also box the bottom if you want to as well. Um, good evening um, from um, Oz as well, to Oz I should say. And I suppose, yeah, it's late in the evening for you, isn't it? On uh, March the, th the 11th. So that's the slim pouch and that is number 12. Now the mini moppy has probably been one of our most popular makes. There's, there's lots that have been really popular, but mini moppy has been one of them. And it's a smaller version of my moppy um, a sort of needle needle case tidy so this one is number 13 which is the mini moppy it's absolutely gorgeous fully lined it's got a coordinating casing there got a round bottom to it and double ties so you can sort of you know make it look pretty with a bow I like all that sort of thing so why not why not so you can tie it up make a pretty bow and have that sitting on your side you can have that filled with your quilting clips or maybe it's good for um, your embroidery, your toiletries, anything like that. So that is actually number 13, Mini Moppy. Number 14 is the Pinwheel Pin Cushion. Again, one of my favourites. And it's just a lovely, lovely design to make. It's just super. It's, it's a bit 3D. You can lift these pieces up here. And uh, yeah, it's just a lovely design. A little bit of lace in the corner as a loop. You don't have to have that if you don't want to. Um, but it's a bit of, bit of cheap calico, and, but you've made it pretty by putting a Liberty design on the front. Nice button to get those vintage buttons out um, and make yourself a um, your pinwheel pin cushion. That's MIM 14. Then MIM 15 is the Easy Peasy Pouch, and that's this one here. 
This has been super popular as well. Um, love, we loved the fabric at the time and the lady who sold it sold out because everybody went and bought it. Um, again, it's got two tabs here so you can hold the tab while you open it up. It almost lays flat so that could sit on your work surface. It could have your makeup in there for when you're getting ready in the morning uh, or the evening or whatever it is you need to pop your makeup on. Um, and this is number 15, the Easy Peasy Pouch. The next one is the carrot and the, the will be the bunny bag. So um, I've got those fairly handy. Bear with. Here we go. So that's the easy peasy pouch. That is number 15. And they, like I say, these patterns are all just one pound. Then we've got the crazy carrot, which is perfect for this time of year to pop your chocolate eggs in there for Easter time. If you don't celebrate Easter then just pop some chocolates in and <laughs> forget that it's a carrot. Um, and that's number 16, the crazy carrot, which kind of goes with the next week's project as it was at the time, which is our bunny bag and that's MIM 17 with the little face look and I just drew that on but you could do embroidery. Morning Jackie, morning Patricia. Um, and again, this is a super little make with the, with the ears coming out of the top. And it's actually a design that I created all oh, probably five years ago for Crafters Companion for their magazine. So um, that was a lovely make to do for them. And of course, if you want to, you could have blue ears. You don't have to have pink ears. The next one was the clover bowl. And um, I've got my clover bowl here, although I think I squidged it a little bit. Um, so you'll have to forgive me because these are all stored away in boxes. So this was the clover bowl, slightly different picture on the website. Um, this is MIM number 18 and again it's a great shape. It needs an iron so please forgive me. Um, fully reversible if you want it to be, if you want that plain fabric to be on the outside and the pretty fabric on the inside you can do it like that. Again just storing perhaps some makeup, some cotton wool buds, something like that. Um, your quilting clips, anything where you want to have a little bit of storage on your desk to keep things really tidy. You could have that full of your um, uh, threads as well, reels of thread that you might use quite a bit. Um, so apologies for the scrunched upness but it's been in a box for about a year. Okay, then we move on to Poppy Pouch. I'll just move my screen so I'm up to date with stuff. Poppy Pouch was probably the one that's um, the most popular ever. It's a great size. Um, this is let me have a look. This is the one that you'll see on, on the website. This is the one I made. Um, morning, Jackie. Um, all quilted, although you don't have to, it's part of the pattern. Uh, very small, you can see it's a nice little make. And again, this one again, a nice little make. Um, quite nice that you can see the zip. And quite nice also that it has the two grab handles so you can, you know, obviously undo it, attach it to something. So if you're going to a workshop, maybe you want to put your quilting clips in here like me. All my quilting clips, enough for a workshop anyway. Um, and then it just hangs off of your bag wherever you go. But it could be for other things as well. It could be putting on the, um, the pram as you're going to school. Maybe it's got some sweeties in there for picking up a little one. Or um, maybe it's just a little first aid box that you want to keep inside your bag and you could keep it handy. That is, um, let me look at these, the poppy pouch, which is number 19. The next one, MIM 20, is Peggy. And I, um, Peggy is a lovely storage container. Let's see if I can find it. Again, it's a little bit squidged, so do forgive me. Um, and it, it's kind of, it's got an oval base to it. And it's, it was, this was a good make actually, because it's got pockets in the back, so you can hang this from a cupboard door or a door handle next to you, perhaps in your chair or your sofa, and you can have some, um, little bits and pieces handy for you could hold your crochet hooks or your wool or your, your I can say swimming things your sewing things even um, hello Marie good morning um, yeah so it's got the hook on there and one of the things that came out of making this was I do have a seam down the front but actually if you reverse the pattern and put the seam down the back it means the front there's no interruption in the pattern so um, we thought afterwards that was probably a very good thing to do um, sorry it's a bit squidged um, like I say I've had them in a box for ages 
so um, there we are so that is number 20 and that's Peggy number 21 is Nelly um, really lovely make it's a needle case or pin cushion or pin case whatever you want to call it I made mine a more sort of vintagey with the lace on the front um, it has pockets in here so you could put your machine needles in there if you want to and it's plastic um, pockets or there we are you've got the two pages there that you can put your needles onto um, and that is 21 and that's um, Nelly now the next one is number 22 and it's Cora and Cora is a little uh, hexagonal purse really really super and uh, one of one of those makes that you'll probably make loads of and um, yeah it's got a little zip there everything is really neat inside a nice easy make make it from your scraps and that is number 22 and that's Cora number 23 is Anna Marie and Anna Marie Oh, trust me to get the one that I didn't finish the edge. <laughs> I'll hold on to it. There's a needle in there. I need to take that out. Let me do that now while I remember. Um, Anna Marie is a uh, sort of mat for your coffee or your cup of tea in the afternoon or put your biscuits on or just have next to you. It's very pretty. Actually, I've got all of the ones that I made are now in the motorhome, except this one, of course and really handy for John and I when we're outside with our picnic table with a cup of tea and we both have an Anna Marie to put our Maria to put our cups on and a chocolate biscuit as long as Millie the dog doesn't get it um number number there's a bonus one between 23 and 24 which is of course Prinny and Prinny is the most amazing pattern let me just pick up my Prinny because she's over here and mine is a mine is a bigger version but so all you have to do is enlarge it but you can see how much I use mine um, and this is slightly bigger than the one the pattern so you just like I say you just enlarge it um, Prinny is a little storage pouch you can see I haven't that that's not set up that's how it is all the time in my trolley um, it's a great little make and that's the bonus pattern and that's called Prinny um, we've probably had close to 300 of these made I know that for sure I'll just pop that to my one side because that's important okay so um the next one after that do excuse my arm is um the pleated pouch now the pleated pouch is also again a nice little make it's, it's, it's a little bit more complicated for a making it monday project but you can see how it works it's got a zip in there it's got a, a sort of a complementary colored bottom to the top so that looks really nice it uses those lace zips that you perhaps haven't got a clue what you're going to um, use them for obviously again it's got another clasp on there so you can hang it from something and uh, again a great little make um Jackie says she loved making poppy. Um, she said she made two at the same time. They are pop the poppies are super duper. They really are. Um, the next one, Mim 25, is the Abbey Bow Band, and I've got a, a sample here. Not quite the same as the one the pattern, but not too bad. Um, not too dissimilar. This is the Abbey Bow Band. This is what you need to make if you're coming to La La Land in, in May. Um, if, you, if you wear this, you get a prize. But this is lovely. It's got elastic in the bottom there, so it will fit any head. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a really, really lovely make. So that is the Abbey Bow Band, and that is MIM 25. MIM 26 is Tilly. Now Tilly again was a very very popular make. Um, my Tilly is a bit squashed now. <laughs> I'm not going to explain again that I've been in a box for a year. Um, but Tilly, you can see the size of it. It's a good size. It'll take like those cotton wool pads that that some of us use. Um, and it's it's just it's just a lovely lovely make. It has a button there or a bead that you can use to to draw it up and then it makes keeps the bead keeps it tight or move the bead down and then you've got the opening there and obviously you've got the uh, the inside's quite roomy so you could put your brushes in there there's all sorts of things that you can do to for this lovely make here and that is Tilly which is number 26 number 27 is Wendy and Wendy is a beautiful little woven pouch so if you're into your fabric weaving then um make one of these this is wendy number 27 um it's a great little make it's got a little popper there it's all fully lined inside 
and uh, like I say it's it's really it was a case of practicing your fabric weaving and uh, I couldn't resist but I, I made another so look at that aren't they just absolutely gorgeous I have one of those in your bag and you can put your receipts in there um, your trolley coins whatever you like really but they're just a lovely little make very tactile just a super make and of course if you make them in super duper fabric like little miffy here or the little boats then you're really going to enjoy having them in your handbag and it, yeah you could take a lipstick and a mirror in one of these it would be fine so um that's uh, number 27 that's wendy Tw 28 irene now that has again been one of our most popular mates i keep saying that because there's certain patterns which have absolutely flown out of the door now don't forget these are only a pound each they're not 3.99 4.99 7.99 in some some websites i've seen these are only a pound and they are simple makes and they've all got videos so <laughs> you know they're for such great value for money anyway this is irene this is number 28 and i made it for my little iron so my little prim iron actually goes inside there um with the cord as well it'll all fit in i'm just being cacandered at it because it's all attached to the electricity um so my little mini iron will easily go in there don't put it in hot unless you've used something like thermal or something to protect your the inside of your your bag um little zip in the top there very simple make nothing complicated about putting that zip in nice little handles but also actually make it in some silk and you could have it as a little evening clutch if you're going to a wedding so yeah, it's a very, very useful design for a pound. And that's Irene. Number 29, Gertie. Now, I had Gertie and I put it back in my, my other storeroom and I forgot that I'd made Gertie. It's actually a um, glasses case. Um, number 30 is a lily pod. I don't have that because I gave that to Abigail because it was uh, for um, Lily. Um, so the next one after that is Troy. Now, Troy is a tray. And again, it's a little bit squashed. Um, Troy is a tray which needs a little press and it has poppers on all four corners so you can store it flat. Perhaps that's how I should have done it. And you can use some glorious fabric like I've done, um, stripy on the outside. But equally, you could have this the other way around. So you can bring up and put the stripes in the middle and then you can have the lighthouses or whatever fabric you use on the outside so it's fully reversible um, really lovely make it's just lovely to have it perhaps on your picnic table with with pieces of bread in or pizza or anything like that yeah, obviously it's washable because it's fabric so that is um, number 31 and that's Troy number 32 is Maggie and Maggie is a super, super pouch. I've done this, um, this is one of my original patterns ever. Very easy made, just made with the pattern piece being an A4 piece of um, paper. And it has um, a letterbox zip, which is a really easy way to pop a zip in, fully lined, obviously. And you can see that it's, um, you can see the lining there, so you can make the lining really, really bright or subtle, depending um, on how you feel at the time. So this is number 32 and that's um, Maggie. Number 33 is Mugalicious. Now Mugalicious, I actually do have, so I'll leave that there <laughs> and show you Mugalicious. Again, it's full of all my stuff because all of these things pretty much I use. So this is Mugalicious and this is a little sort of container to put all your bits and bobs in. It's dusty because it's been sitting in my trolley for the last year and that's Mugalicious. So you can tell it goes over a mug like that and you put all your bits and bobs in. And of course, putting bits in here keeps everything in the right place. Oh, I've been looking for that everywhere. And there's a reef, the refills. Honestly, I've been, oh, truly, I've been looking for that. Anyway, 
The next one is the phone home and phone home is this one here. So let's move my delicious out of the way. This is phone home, which obviously allows your mobile phone to sit in there quite nicely. And it's got a little feature at the back with a, a flip up and a button. Um, really useful make, a great make for a craft fair. A um, little bit of toy stuffing, nice easy make, Let, you know, phone home. It's um, number 34. Number 35 is the Posy Purse, which is this one here. So this is Posy Purse, number uh, 35. We're nearly nearly getting there, guys. And um, that has a loop here on a, with a button. So it's just decorative. It, you know, you can put a, a I've got a magnetic closure in there, so it's purely decorative. Um, beautiful, beautiful make, so easy to do. Little bit of a, a contrast there to hide the ends of the ribbon, which again is optional. But yeah, so that is number 35. That is Posy Purse purse. Number 36 is um, Penny. Penny the pencil case which is this one here. Really lovely make again. I put a tassel on mine. Beautiful fabric um, and again we've got our pens in there. Takes the sharpie pens, takes pencils. Um, you can make it bigger if you want to. It's got a feature with the binding around the zip and then using the same fabric for tabs. Um, but that is number 36 and that is Penny. Then we've got Belle, and Belle is this design here. Now, unbeknownst to me, and I'll be perfectly honest with you here, um, this looks very, very similar to somebody else's design, but I often say, you know, you can't reinvent the wheel, and these things are gonna cross over at some time. And, um, you know, I, I draw all my patterns out and try them and, and everything before they come to the, to the website. It just so happens it looks very similar to somebody else's. So, um, so that is Belle, and that is number Number 37. Number 38 is the fancy flower bro brooch, which is always on my Amelia bag that I take out with me every single day of the week. So that's, you can't see that one. Now Florence, now that was made by, it was a pattern by our um, Jackie, Jackie Thomas. Um, I haven't got my square tissues now, but this sits in a square tissue box. It's absolutely super. It looks amazing. Very, very stylish. It's a good, simple make. I'm not doing it justice, but if you have a look on the website, you'll see how it looks. And it's a cover for a square box of tissues with a spare tissue coming out. So I'm not doing it justice here at all. But this is um, Florence, which is, as I said, a cover for a square box of tissues. Then we've got 40, which is not, which is Ruby. And Ruby was designed because this was our 40th pattern. So I was looking to make a piece of jewelry, <laughs> not really, but uh, what something that looked like a gem. So what we did was we made Ruby, which is the set of four coasters, which ends up with this star design like a, like a Ruby. But of course you can, if you want to, turn these around and have them like a starburst effect as well. So really nice little make. Um, and that's number 40 and that's Ruby. Then we've got the Bonnie Bowl, which is number 41. This is the Bonnie Bowl. I could do with an iron again. I think it's absolutely super, this one. I used some really nice um, decorative um, bias binding on that, which I got from Higgs and Higgs. It's really smashing. And uh, yeah, all done with just darts and, um, and a, just a circle. The next one is Little Ada, which was our Catherine's design. And uh, I haven't got my book in there now. Um, but this was all designed by Catherine. We had a larger one in the in the gold group, um, but this is the the bigger one, the smaller one for. I'm um, just sorting it out for you for um, making it Monday project. So you've got a loop of elastic there for your little pencil. You've got the elastic here to hold your pages in the right place. And if we open it up, it takes a little um, A6 notepad that you can pop the, the um, outside um, edges in there and you can mark a page if you want to. Really lovely make. And that is Lil Ada. And that is number 42. 
Then we've got 43, which is Buddy, and that sits in my handbag at all times, which is the earbud holder. We've then got Kylie, or Kaylee, or Keely even, and again, that's in my handbag. Winnie the Mouse, um, yeah, she's, she's here beside me again. A lot of these things I, I use, so Winnie the Mouse is number 45, and you can see she just sits next to me. She's a little bit scruffy today. Um, and that is um, Winnie the Mouse with her lovely long tail. So that is number 45. Uh, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. I've all been put away because they're seasonal projects. Um, so that's, that's an, for another day. We've then got Baggins. Baggins, again, was a really super make. Let me put the Leda on my heap and keep the pin cushion handy because she's a good size, really good size for school things, for maybe a little packed lunch, maybe a water bottle, that type of thing. And that's number 51, that's Baggins. Inky the Octopus went to my grandson. Walter the hot water bottle cover went to my other grandson. Number 54 is Mabel the Label, which is this little... Um, uh, design here from our Nicola and this is the one that you need to make if you're coming to La La Land and you want to have the prize of a Kim kit if you make one of these and you're coming to La La then you need you'll 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 just get a Kim kit automatically so please don't be the only one that doesn't have one um, so that is Mabel the label um, and that is number oh where are we number 54 there we go Betty is a little half moon purse which um, I don't have handy so that again it's probably in my handbag because I love them all so much um, number 56 Molly was designed by Jim Jill McCamley and then we've got number 57 which is Wally the wallet which is this one here not quite the same as the picture but the same as this is the one I did on the Facebook live I think so a nice simple make it's using the um, uh, vinyl in the sleeves there and the opening are in the center so you, you can't lose your cards um, nice little make that you can put a tag on there if you want to keep it handy but just and again it's just lovely to have sometimes have a, just a little piece of fabric um, that you can um, just you know something made from fabric in your handbag it's just a lovely lovely make um, and that is um, Wally the wallet now I do believe that was our last make of um, 2021 so if I quickly go on to 2022 so I didn't really want this to last too long um, we've got nine projects in there at the moment the pen pal I don't have so I don't know where that is because that's new and um, we've got Clippy so Clippy was the um, weighted uh, holder for your clips so obviously your little plastic clips can be clipped onto that and that's clippy lovely lovely design that one then we have a tissue which is the um, a tissue holder and that is actually in my car then we've got number um, A4 which is Angela which is the um, purse like this and I did it um, for foundation paper piecing just for something different but you don't have to you can make it with just regular plain fabric like this um, and just you put a magnetic closure in here or you can see I've used to use an old-fashioned snap so um, yeah lots of lovely things that you can make with a little bow I think that's such a sweet little make then we have flow which are Kath made uh, her design there which is this lovely heart cushion quite honestly it's a lovely make and if you fill that with um, something you can pop in the microwave and pop that behind your bag I think that would would be absolutely super really would so that that is flow by our Kath. Then we've got Valerie, and again, that was a pattern by our Kath as well. Um, so this is my version of it, because obviously I don't get Kath samples. Um, and it has the little applique hearts on there. It's a nice little shape. She had a tassel on her, so I have a tassel on mine. And um, yeah, it's a lovely little mate, nice little shape to it. It's got zip tabs as well, so you learn how to do that just a nice make now i think she puts her the ta some tablets that she has to take on a daily basis don't we all um they go in there and pop those in her handbag so at the moment you you might have at least half a dozen things that you've made in your handbag then we've got egbert which is the um 
Easter design. Let me get the one that I made for the for the um, picture. So Egbert was a little um, funny little bag, really, um, uh, but it's nice and roomy. You can see what it looks like. Um, you can thread it through like that, so you've got looks like rabbit ears, because we're thinking Easter. Or if you want to, you can just tie um, and just make it into a like a more sort of a Japanese um, sort of knot bag. Fill that with chocolates as well. But it's a lovely little make. I quite like Egbert. And I like how you can just cross the handles, fill it with chocolates. Not only does it look like a hot cross bun, obviously signifying um, Good Friday, but also um, it also looks like a rabbit. So you could put a little face on there if you want to. And also you could put a popper there if you don't want things to fall out. So lots of options of with Egbert. Then you've got Katie. And now, did I make Katie or did um, Kath? Let me have a look. I can't remember now. Um, well, I haven't got a sample, that's for sure. And then we've got Lexi, and Lexi was was um, this last Monday's. So that's Lexi, the two. Uh, I'm, that's the one I made on the Facebook Live, and I showed you different te two different techniques. That's the one for the pattern, um, and I just it's made in uh, with white linen, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. That's going to come in the motorhome with me. So there we are. So that is most of the making it mondays for 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 the um for the last sort of year for the last 12 months there's some i've missed out because they've been put away or given away or you know this is what happens when you make stuff isn't it so there we are so hope that's hopefully that's been um handy i'm going to share it to the making it monday facebook group so that all the ladies there can see it it's it's showing live now streaming live now onto my website so people that don't do facebook or youtube can look at it on my website um, but don't don't worry there's um hundreds and hundreds of patterns on there for you to choose from they are all a pound each which is such good value for money and they all have a video as well now there's not a lot of companies that can say that so thank you very much for joining me this morning sorry it was a little bit of an impromptu live but i wanted to get it out of the way because i promised it to the making it monday group that i would do that just to remind them about some of the projects all right bye bye bye, -bye for now everybody bye